Here, birdie, birdie. Stand still, Sparrow. Come on. What will last? Or stuffed rodent. <laughs> Hey guys, we're going to do my new Let's Play of Taz Wanted for the GameCube. This also came out on the PlayStation 2, which, were, I, which is what I originally played in, but now I recently bought it for the GameCube. And before we start off, I want to show something off. You might see a little clock in the background that's referencing Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Just uh, a little thing, another game I played. So, difficulty, I want to play standard, yeah, that's fine. Rumble on, I just screen position. Uh, can we make it bigger? Oh, we can. Okay, wait, wait, let's see how we want this. We won't like that yet. Okay. Subtitles on, yes, obviously. And uh, audio options, let's have a look at everything. Music, great. Effects volume, great. And what else do you have here? Records, which I'm guessing that's scoring, okay. So um, we'll, we'll be getting into a lot of different things. These are all the different worlds in the game, but we'll be getting into that later on. Anyways, let's actually start off our adventure here on Save Data 1, which I'm really excited to play, to be honest. It's been years since I played it last. So uh, we're gonna start a new game and uh, host players. I think I'm gonna do Speedy Gonzales, because I love Speedy Gonzales. I'm gonna put Daco or D Dak. So one thing I love about this game is the fact that it actually does feel like a Looney Tunes game, if that makes sense. It feels like you've actually seen an episode, but we'll get into that in a little bit. And it is let's actually start the game off. I don't know if there's a cutscene or not, I don't really remember. But either way, I'm really excited to be playing this game again because it has been literally years. Like it has been years since I played this game. I remember playing it when it first came out. But here's the first world of the game, which I don't know. How long is this let's play is gonna take? Because I haven't played in so long, but oh, it's, it's Tasney's girlfriend. I don't know what she devil is. I she devil. I think that's the name, yeah. Which, by the way, I love Taz's character. I think he's great. Uh, and we'll be actually getting into the whole mechanics of Taz Wanted pretty soon. But uh, as you can see, everything is looking all good and that. I probably will talk over the cutscenes. By the way, a, a reference to Titanic there. How cool is that? Pretty pretty cool. And that sunset, fantastic. But what is that? Oh my god, something's happened. Okay, so Taz has been taking kidnapped. Welcome to Yosemite Park and Zoo. Now get. We promise you the most exciting attractions in six blocks or your money back. And there's no chance of that happening. <laughs> huh? Why don't you come down and see for yourself? We got Zuni Tunes with its subtropical splendors, Luna Lagoon with it. And here are our latest attractions, the Tasmanian Devils. If you like what you see at the zoo, then you better book now for Tazland. Ah! And if you want to see this tornado twisting she devil in action, tune in to tonight's Gladiator Tunes show on channel. <laughs> Get that she-devil out of here. It looks like this one's gonna blow a gasket. See you around, furball. So there we go. That's the entire plot. So it's obviously gonna exist in the Yosemite Zoo. Sam is the bad guy. If you guys know anything about Looney Tunes, he is. He, he's the tycoon who likes a bit of money. 
But this is our tutorial world. I normally wouldn't show up, but I want to show you off because I haven't played it in so long myself. But Taz actually has the power to escape any cage no matter what, and you'll see that here. He can break through anything. And I'll, I'll be going over the concept of the game as soon as we um, get let out over here. There's a lot of tutorials over here, but of course he's got to do the hard way. He's got to open up the gate. I'm not going to lie this game. Also, look at all the mines. <laughs> okay, okay. So I also want to go through a few things. Oh my god, that looks painful. Ugh, bad boy between your groin. Ugh, it's not for me, not for me. But I guess what's going to be here now? There's going to be... Unless it's going to be a shark, maybe? Is it a shark? No. By the way, Taz cannot swim. We'll be seeing that later on. But look how cool he is. Ooh, he's got wet hair and everything. Uh-oh. That furball's flown the coop. Get them wanted posters up now. Nobody gets away from Yosemite Sam. So here we go. This is the start of the game. Nobody noticed that. Where's my agent? I shouldn't be working with amateurs like this. Look, I haven't got time for this. Why don't you search the four corners of the map if you want to know what's going on? After all, I'm just a marketing gimmick. Okay, so what Tweety just said, we're going to actually do this. I'm, I'm going to talk through everything she says now, just because her voice gets on my nerves massively. So, the Tasmanian Devils love to spin, hold B to spin. Some plans for the GameCube, if you don't know. Tasmanian Devils love to eat, press Y to eat. They, uh, Tasmanian Devils love to eat almost anything, no matter how inappropriate. Press Y to spit up, spit out things that aren't food. Yep, okay, and then DIY, some things can't be destroyed and want to attack. And uh, Tasmanian Devils won't learn. Not everything can be smashed. Wooden crates, yes. Metal crates, no. So, as you can see over here, we can walk over here and uh, eat these plantation no matter what. Buzz in. Oh, I can use my... Oh, I can use analog. Oh, because I'm going to play Inspire. I'm going to choose a D-pad. So, with this gate here, you have to keep attacking because it it's wooden. And eventually, you'll get through like that. So, like I mentioned, you can't, we can't actually destroy these metal crates, crates, I don't think. Like, but we can destroy all these. And we can even eat them as well, which is cool. I'm pretty sure later on there will be some food items which we do have to eat ourselves. But let's actually get into the concept of this game. So, uh, I'm actually going to go to the one over here. And pretty much there will be phone booths, wanted posters, and we need to dis destroy a wanted poster. I mean, I'll go over here because I know there's one right over here. Actually, I think it's over this one. Yeah, there's a wanted poster right there, you know, the Taz wanted. The main concept of this game is to actually destroy all those posters in a level to actually progress, which is fantastic. Oh, is, it, is this tutorial 4? Okay, we'll do this one anyway first. Public enemy number 1. No one is pleased to see a Tasmanian Devil. Don't expect a warm welcome from people or animals. Tasmanian Devils have limited com conversational skills and a short temper. Press X to, r to rant, yeah. Tasmanian Devils are highly prized. Some people want to capture them. Tasmanian Devils don't like being caged though. Luckily, cage aren't very substantial. Press B to smash through it. Yep, yeah, we'll see that later on. Tasmanian Devils just love a good disguise. Step into the booth, turn into a whole another devil. And uh, Tasmanian Devils can frighten the life out of people. Press X button to surprise costume attack. Okay, so there's many costumes in this game. And we just need to be careful of the guards. The guards will capture us, and I'll show that off in a minute. By the way, shout out to Acme. You know, like, the, the traditional people, but as you can see, now he's a reindeer. There's, there's a lot of these costumes, okay? So if we go over here, he, he caught us, because he knew who he was, sadly. And if he just kept you, they'll go straight into this cage over here, and you can just break straight out again. Easy enough. So I want to mention a few things about this. I actually want to go and get that guy before we, um, we continue on, just to prove a point. Uh, we, need, we need to actually destroy all the signs in our level to actually progress, and there will be a boss at the end of every three levels. I've never been in this game, by the way, but uh, let's try out the rage button. So if we press... If we go up close and press X, we can, uh, oh, balls, <laughs> again. By the way, this game is very much trial and error, so in some cases we might do really well, and then in another one we might just absolutely suck. And, like I said, I've never beaten this game, I've, I've only done, the, like, I think I've done half the game before, and then I just stopped playing it. So I'm looking forward to actually playing this game, and it's, it's entirely, to be honest. Uh, okay, I, wanna, I actually want to kill this guy, just to prove that you can. Okay, let's get lined up here. Oh, we got, got me again, for God's sake! Okay, whilst, whilst this is happening, I want to talk about something else. So, in this game, there is a, a way to get 100%, okay? I will not be going for 100% in this game. I'm going to be doing a casual playthrough, mainly just because I don't really want to spend time searching for stuff. I will try to actually go for as much as I can, collectible-wise, and I will be getting all the signs and stuff, like everything you, you need to... Why can't I kill this guy? Everything you need to actually get 100%, I will be doing that. So, don't worry about that. Everything we need to get, we will get. Everything we don't need to get, we won't get. Simple as uh, 
But yeah, there is a way to kill this guy. You can actually run up behind him and sneak and stuff, which I'll be showing that off in a minute in another tutorial. By the way, if we do spin while we're in a costume, we do lose the costume's ability. But by the way, this is probably the worst one yet. Okay, let's bounce him. There we go, we got him. He's dead. And when we kill a guard, he is dead forever. And we actually lose our good old um, our costume. So we'd have to go and re get it. Uh, in, in, in light levels, that'll be a bit more difficult. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. So let's actually go over to this one. This is where we're going to get introduced to some new stuff. Okay, what up? Okay. You can see a little box over there, by the way. That box is going to become very annoying later on. So Tasmanian devils have very few friends, but are very popular. User Mike Sam has put a lot of Taswana posters up. Ta Tasmanian devils are not welcome everywhere. Try walk towards that box. And then you should talk, uh, talk about something else I'm going to talk about. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, if we walk over to this box, boom, we just get slapped. There's no health bar in this game, by the way. So, you, it's hard to die. But, um, there is actually a way to sneak. If you press the L button, you can sneak. It, it still will activate the boxes. But, there is these little switches, alright? These are spin switches. You spin into them. And then you can run over to this guy over here and destroy him. And then you have to destroy one of the good old uh, signs, which is fantastic. Okay, the next lesson and the final lesson of this tutorial is right over here, which is... This is uh, this is a bit different, okay? It's just saying she devils don't have to get wet, they can't swim, so as soon as you die, you will die. Tasmanian devils can jump, press A to jump, blah, blah, blah. Bounce on life rings will increase your height. Um... Not everything can support a Tasmanian Devil's weight. Lillipods won't warn hold off for long, so you can only stand on, stand on them for so long. And they can't break the laws of physics. Tilting objects are real hazards. Okay. Easy enough. And uh, you, can, you can slowly walk with the L button, and then some objects might just sink, no matter how much jumping or spinning a Tasmanian t Devil does on it. So, oh, it will not sink even. Oh, so that's logs, obviously. So you can jump on these life rafts, laughs, la rafts even. These, these won't fall. But if we go on this thing over here... Depending on where we are, it could tip over. I'm going to try to, like, not die as much as possible, because if I do, that's going to suck. And like I mentioned earlier, little pads can hold our weight, but only for a certain amount of time before they drop in. Like, I'll show you here. Like, as you can see, they start to sink. Eventually, you will die if you stay on those for too long. So that's literally the foundation of the game done. And we've actually got access to the next world here. Well, the first world of the game, even, which we'll be going into next episode. I presume for the first few episodes, we will be doing one world per episode, because the worlds in this game are pretty short. To start with but when we get to the majority of it it will get a bit longer and a bit harder so uh, also by the way we don't actually even need to destroy his crates we can literally just parkour over here and uh, we don't really have to worry about it but this is the entrance to the first world of the game which is zuni tunes which we'll be doing next time so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give a like i really appreciate it and i shall see you guys next time for more taz wanted where we're going to be going into zuni tunes i'll see you guys later take care and peace